Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your extended reading. Thanks for your purchase. Thanks for joining me. Let's just jump right in here, okay? Angels and guides, can you please clarify this hangman card? Their reaction towards Saggy is the Ten of Pentacles and the hangman. Why is this? Why is this? Oh, Five of Swords. Star. So there's that Five of Swords again. Five of Swords. Five of Swords here. Lots of mental conflict. Big time. Um, they could be beating themselves up as well. Um, you know, and again, immaturity, one-upmanship, arguing, ego, jealousy, things like that. Star card, definitely wanting some healing or trying to be guided or they don't even know that they're being guided. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> let's clarify this King of Cups and, okay. <laughs> well, the Chariot and the Two of Swords. So they really want to move towards you full steam ahead, travel in your direction, but they're blocked, 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 okay? You know, you add that Chariot to that um, Ace of Wands, and this person is really, 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 really chomping at the bit for you, Sagittarius. Oh, my God. But something is going on here where they don't have all the information or the facts. They don't know what you're up to. They don't know what you're thinking. They don't know if they, if, you know, you'll receive them well. Um, and so they're kind of stuck in terms of, uh, you know, should I or shouldn't I? And that could also be where this mental conflict is coming in because they don't know whether they should approach you or not. Can you please clarify the devil and the justice? This is the action that they will take toward Saggy. The devil and the justice. What is this all about? Well, you can't even fully see it. I didn't realize that. Hang on. The devil and the justice, please. This is the action that they will take towards Sagittarius. Can you please clarify this? What does this have to do with? We have the king of cups, the nine of cups, and the four of wands. Wow. 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 <laughs> Just like blown away. And here we are, king of cups. Double King of Cups, you definitely have somebody who is in love with you. Yes, indeedy, big time. And they've got a lot of emotions and mental conflict about it. So what is going on here? Why won't they take action towards you? What is this, what is this about? What is being bond, you know, bound about? And what is the justice here that needs to happen? Well, we have the four of wands, which is that marriage card. So for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is bound by marriage. And in order to make an, uh, a, you know, um, a move toward you, marriage, bound, they have to get a divorce, justice, um, justice, judge, judgment, okay? Um, now, what this could mean is that they're bound by something else. So some of you are dealing with somebody who's already committed <coughs> and married, <coughs> Wow, <coughs> all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I feel like a spirit just tried to stop me from talking. <clears throat> what is that all about? It does happen sometimes. <clears throat> so, some of you are dealing with somebody who is already married or you're married. And so there is that that is standing in the way. What they really want is to love you. They want their wish fulfillment with the nine of cups and they really want to be committed to you. Okay. Or they are, they're in love with you and they want their wish fulfillment with you, but they're married to someone else and these cards could be seen as separate. And so that's the block. Or you are married. Some of you are in a commitment or a marriage, blah, blah, blah. Same block. Okay. But I asked, why can't they come towards you? You know, why is this? What is this energy? Well, I mean, just look at this. What does that tell you? There's definitely some kind of a block here. Now, those of you who are single, 
and you're dealing with somebody who is single and you're wondering what the hell is the problem why can't this person just step up and follow through well they do love you and they do want wish fulfillment but some of you could be dealing with somebody who is scared of commitment so that's entirely possible wow Wow, wow, and wow. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and get some reason. Uh, I mean, the rest of it is. Let's go ahead and get some reversals. <clears throat> Angels and guides, please clarify this entire spread for Sagittarius. One more. Feels good. Somebody can't move on from someone or something. You to them, them to you, or both of you with your exes or spouses or whatever. Why are they reacting this way to you? Well, they got very clear about something, and yet there's no new beginning, or there's no communication about it, or something going on here, right? Like lack of communication. This is divine timing. Maybe the timing is wrong for some of you with this person. Because uh, this is divine timing, this is being led, this is opening the door to communication, uh, a brand new beginning in communication and ideas, and that's lacking here, and there's also clarity. So something is going on where this person has gotten clarity when it comes to you in this situation, whatever that means for both of you, okay? Why is this their current impression of you? Wow. Well... It kind of looks like you have either already moved on from them or you've broken it off or you've given them an ultimatum or, you know, you're getting ready to um, or they know that you're fully capable of walking uh, because there was no wish fulfillment here with this person and there is no commitment for one reason or the other. So their impression of you is that you are living your best life and investing in yourself, living your best life and opening yourself up to other op op options, you know, opportunities, potential suitors, whatever. Um, what do they think of you? Now for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's married and they really see you as their queen and they're married to the wrong person. Okay, so that's entirely possible. That's where all this, some of that mental stuff is coming in. Why is this? Why do they see you this way? And if it's not that, then it's one of those other many scenarios I gave you. Well, there was no happily ever after here, and they haven't been able to move beyond you yet. Or you to them. Definitely a missed opportunity here, something that could have been beautiful. And they're just mentally conflicted about it. That Five of Swords has come out twice. This person is angry and kicking themselves and, you know, just in their head a lot about it. How do they uh, feel about you at this time? Why is this? Well, because there was no magic, right, manifested. There was no new beginning. This didn't get off the ground. And, uh, you know, you're not waiting on them anymore. I think they're still waiting on you. You're not waiting on them anymore. And you're no longer manifesting with them. You're not waiting. You're not putting in the effort. So they see you or how they feel about you for a lot of you is that you um, have honored yourself and you're moving on to build in a new direction. And they feel that they're losing you as a result of it. <clears throat> The action that they want to take towards you, why is this? Wow, there it is. Six of Wands reversed. Six of Wands here. This is how they feel about you. There was no victory with you. No breakthrough. No happily ever after, right? Uh, and there's no fight for this. So, how, you know, the action they want to take towards you is this, because somebody dropped the ball in the past and didn't allow this to get off the ground, or because you have withdrawn your energy and your effort from this person and it's driving them nuts that you've moved on from them and you're not fighting for it. 
this is all, um, well, I'll just hold it up again. <clears throat> I was trying to be lazy there for a second. The action that they will take towards you. Why is this? Wow. Well, I think it's a matter of chasing you at this point, Sagittarius. You have gotten over the grief of this situation. You're not carrying it or them around anymore. And there's absolutely no communication with them or very little. And you're not putting in any effort towards them anymore. And they're missing you. And they want that back. And they're scared they're going to lose you. On a soul level, what do they want? Why is this? Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. King of Pentacles reversed. We saw the Queen of Pentacles earlier. King and Queen of Pentacles are married. So I feel that they have dropped the ball. And you have dropped them. And you're waiting for a new king or queen if you're a guy. No longer mentally, emotionally strung out over this person. You're, not, you're sleeping just fine at night. They know it. They've lost you or they're losing you. And they know that on a soul level, this isn't over. And they didn't fulfill their mission. That's what it feels like. And then the outcome that they're hoping for. Why is that? Queen of Cups. Wow. And Empress reversed. So there could definitely be more than one person involved in this connection. Third party, individual. Maybe they're married to a queen of cups and you're the empress that they really want. Um, now, you could be both. You could be the empress and the queen of cups taking on those attributes. Again, whether male or female, you have withdrawn your cup of love and you are not giving to this person anymore. The, the empress will wait for her emperor. The queen will wait for her king. Any dud that comes along their path, they cut loose, cut loose, cut loose, say goodbye, and they don't give them any energy whatsoever. So your person is really wanting to make an offer and balance the situation, or they want to make an offer and they're juggling two different people. And that just came out here. So that's the potential there. Wow. I don't really know what else to clarify here. Um... I mean, I feel like this is pretty cut and dry. Let me just look and see. Oh, look, the moon card is on the bottom of the deck. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's clarify this one. Why do they want to take this action towards Sagittarius? We already know that they're in love with them. They want him back. But can you clarify this some more? Why does this person want to take this action towards Sagittarius? That's too many cards. There's like 20. <laughs> this little deck can be difficult to, to shuffle sometimes. Why do they want to take this action towards Sagittarius? Because they're in love with Sag, because they want him back, because Sag has moved on. Sag isn't fighting for this anymore. Wheel of Fortune. They want the wheels of fate to turn in their favor, your favor, both of you together. They really, really, really want another chance. Okay, well, let's let's say, let's look at this. The action that they will take towards you is blocked. They want to, but they can't. They won't. What is going to be the outcome of this? Is this person going to try to take an, this action toward Sag? Or are they just going to, you know, back off and disappear? What is going on here? They're bound and tied. They can't move forward. They really want Sagi. They're in love with them. They might be involved with someone else. Or they're scared of commitment. So what's going to happen here with this? What action are they going to take towards Sagittarius? Can you clarify this pile of cards? The Devil, the Justice, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands reversed, Five of Cups reversed. So can you please clarify this? Just pop a card or two. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one flew out and went on the floor. Queen of Wands. Now we have a Queen of Wands coming in here. So again, there could be a third party. They could be involved with someone else that is blocking them from being with you. 
The other thing is maybe for others of you, they see you as a queen of wands, meaning you are just, they just find you so attractive. And, and I mean, they, they fantasize about you. They think about you. They drool over your picture. So this is either a person blocking them from moving towards you and being with you, or they see you as this. Wow. Ace of Cups. You know, new beginning in love here. New beginning in love. So again, either this Queen of Wands is blocking their love for you or blocking them from having this new beginning with you, or they they are just so incredibly attracted to you. And I mean, they're just, they're smitten, they're heart sick. <laughs> they, um, puppy love. I mean, they would follow you to the ends of the earth with these two card combinations. Like they just, I mean, you are, you are the bee's knees to them. Can you please clarify the Empress and the Queen of Cups reversed? Are these two separate people or, you know, all, both Sagittarius? The Empress, thank you. The Two of Swords, the Moon card, and the Hierophant. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I want to say for a lot of you that this is two different people because there's a third party involved here. Um, we have two, okay? So two people trying to decide between two or trying to get enough information. There's a secret here about more than one, you know, secret, more than one lie, whatever. Hierophant is marriage, <laughs> okay? Uh, this can also be spiritual path as well. Now, what this could mean is that for some of you, you are both of these in one. You embody both energies. They know that there's a spiritual connection between you two, and they're supposed to walk this path with you, but there is some kind of secret or something that's hidden, or they don't have enough information to move towards you and pursue you. So there you have it. So I don't know if this reading is, you know, clarifying anything for you guys, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Oh my God, look what just fell out. Third party. And separation. Holy shnikes. You guys, you saw it on camera. I was just about to start shuffling and it fell out of the deck. So I think this is confirming that there is absolutely a third party involved here. Now this could be another lover, another commitment, another marriage, or there could be third party in terms of something else something or someone else. Maybe the third party is the other person's career. Maybe it is their family. You know how families can be really dysfunctional and meddle in um, people's relationships. Uh, there could be a third party and, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Hell if I know, right? But it doesn't have to be romantic, a third party, a lover, a cheating, blah, 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 blah. It could be something else. But I think for a lot of you, you are dealing with somebody who is involved or you are. And I feel like for a lot of you, this third party does have to relate to an ex from the past or somebody that one of you are currently involved with or a marriage. And there is separation coming in here as a result of this. You two are separated from each other or a separation is required from your respective partners or exes or spouses or whatever in order for you two to be together. And I just saw this, the shadow work fell out too and I didn't even notice it. So you guys are working on shadow work through this connection with each other. Wow. And really getting clear about who you are and what you want and standing in your own honor, integrity, and dignity, and being truthful about, you know, where you're at. You know, don't be stringing along someone else uh, that you're not in love with anymore, or staying married for the money, or whatever. I mean, you know, after a while, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta be straight. Look at this, fall, that's interesting. Something happened in the fall, memory, um, or a turning of events, or maybe something is coming this fall, and tribe. Maybe really, maybe it's time to shed the old and, uh, and find your real tribe. Find who it is that you are supposed to be with. For some of you, you're getting out. You're, it, it, it will require separation of getting out of a false relationship, a false marriage in order to step forward in your power and, you know, find your tribe and be with the one you're meant to be with and vice versa for your person that you're dealing with. Anything else about this situation that Saggy needs to know? Hmm. 
Anything else before we move on to the next deck? Here we go. Something flipped over. Yeah. Reinvention. Mm -hmm. This is going to require definitely shedding of the old, shedding the skin, shedding the old relationships, shedding the old identities, uh, even, you know, moving physically in some way, reinventing yourself, them reinventing themselves, getting out of the third party situations and really stepping into what's, what's tried and true. What is the uh, shadow? Oh, okay. <laughs> The shadow side of this person or situation that you need to be aware of is something about this connection is unstable or someone in this connection is unstable. With all that water energy, it's usually emotions, but it could be unstable in other ways as well. What else shadow side of this situation does Saggy need to know? This one dependent. So someone is dependent here. You on them, them on you, both of you on your, you know, your, I don't know, your third parties. This can also be dependence in terms of children. Maybe the timing isn't right with the Ace of Swords. Timing isn't right. Divine timing, etc. Maybe there's children involved here and you have to wait until they're older or they do. I don't know. Secondary, somebody feels secondary or they're treating somebody as secondary um, or there's a secondary situation or involvement here that is definitely um, messing this up. Okay, someone is doubtful or carries a lot of doubt, especially in their ability to cut something off and move, move forward and scorned. Someone is scorned or somebody is scared that, you know, you know, if they break up with a third party, it'll leave them scorned. I don't know. Or maybe you feel scorned because you were dating this person. You didn't know they were married. You found out they were married and it really pissed you off. It could be so many different things. What is it that this person really wants to say to you that they haven't been able to? Or what do they want you to know? No other compares to you. So if you're dealing with somebody who is married, boy, are they unhappy. These three want to come out. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Wow. And lastly, from this deck... What does this person want to say to you? What do they want you to know? What do they want to say to you? What do they want you to know? That's way too many cards. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. It's really hard for me to open up. And that could be ringing true with that King of Cups energy. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. can't take this anymore. Wow, Sagittarius. So you guys, you know, some of you might be dealing with somebody, like I say, who is married and they're too scared to leave their marriage and their home and their children and their financial stability and everything that they've built in order to be with you because it's too much of an unknown. I mean, I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility or vice versa, you to them. And that may not be the storyline for all of you, but you know, I don't know if I'm cut out for this, etc. Made me think of that. All right. Wow. This was a very interesting reading. Write me and let me know what you thought of it. Thank you for joining me. Watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get more messages for your love life. And we'll see you back here next time. Bye.